We've all seen uh, pictures of uh, fearsome uh, Viking warriors wearing horns on their helmets and uh, most of us uh, consider that to be pure fantasy. But uh, what do we actually know about the helmets in the Viking Age? This little video will tell you about that and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft and my series Vikings from A to O. There has only been found one preserved helmet from, the, from this period and this does not have horns on. It was found in the Norwegian burial ground at Gjermundubu, north of Oslo, together with the only complete suit of chainmail from this period. And beside that, only small parts of helmets has been found here in Scandinavia. In Denmark, the Chile helmet fragment is a Viking egg fragment of iron and bronze, and it is the eyebrows and nose guard of a helmet. It was discovered in 1850 near a small town called Chile, north of Wiborg, on the peninsula of Jutland. In Sweden, the Lokrum helmet fragment is a decorated eyebrow piece from a Viking Age helmet. It is made of iron and the surface of which is covered with silver. It was found in Lokrum, a small settlement on the Swedish island of Gotland. But why haven't there been found any more helmets from the Viking period? Well, the lack of helmets finds may be partly due to the fact that no tradition existed of placing them in graves. In addition, helmets were not sacrificed like spears and swords, so we did not come across them in this context either. It is possible that relatively few Vikings wore helmets, and therefore only a small number are found today. And uh, can we with certainty uh, conclude that the uh, Vikings didn't have horn on their helmets uh, from this uh, spare some information from the Viking Age. In the National Museum of Denmark there is a display of helmets from the Bronze Age that have horns on. These were found in 1942 in a bog near a small town called Veksø in the island of Sealand. And the famous golden horns uh, that were found in 1639 and 1734 at Gallehus in the northern part of Denmark, there are images of people wearing horn on their heads. And similar images are also known from the Viking period itself. In the Osebær burial ground from Norway, which dates to the early Viking period, a tapestry was found on which horn helmets are also depicted. The horn figure leave the procession and the large size of the man may indicate his high status as a god, possibly Odin. And the numerous rock carvings, especially from the western Sweden, shows men wearing horn helmets. And uh, does that prove that a Viking wore horns on the helmets? Probably not. However, there is some evidence to suggest that certain warriors wore such headgear. For instance, the horn figure on the golden horns are berserkers. These were wild warriors who threw themselves into battle in a trance-like fury. We are also familiar with them from the Icelandic sagas in which they are among the most feared of all Vikings. It is also possible that such headgear were worn for display or for cultural purposes. In battle situations, horns and helmet will probably only get in the way. In addition, none of the contemporary sources mention Viking wearing horn on the headgear. And after my opinion, we cannot exclude that the uh, Viking had horn on the helmets. There's just not enough evidence uh, to uh, say that for certain. And perhaps someday the archaeologist will find a Viking horn with helmets on, and then the scientific scholars uh, have to uh, swallow a camel or two 
and uh, uh, change their uh, perception of uh, the Viking appearance and culture. Yeah, that's for sure. And another thing, uh, this helmet uh, that I got from Grimfrost, uh, I'll put a link, uh, is actually uh, quite uh, glossy, uh, shiny when it comes. And I actually uh, made it rusty. Uh, I put some uh, salt acid on, put it outside and only in a couple of days it looked like this. And uh, my opinion is also that the Viking didn't have these glossy helmets, perhaps in the start when they came from the blacksmith, but later on they will look like this. Uh, they had them with them on the ships and uh, you all know if you're out to sea the salt wall will um, rust anything that is iron. Uh, and I'm sure the Vikings didn't uh, go around and uh, uh, glossed, glossed their helmets so they were shiny. I think they look more like this and uh, the evidence from the uh, graves, the findings also uh, that you can't say for sure that they were uh, glossy metal. So yeah, that's why I uh, made my helmet like this. I think it looks more authentic and uh, yeah, cool too. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm out in Kimbercam today with Cornelius, and uh, yeah, it's not good weather. Uh, those of you who have followed me on my Instagram uh, saw that uh, Monday, I think it was Monday, I posted a video where there was snow here in Denmark, and uh, it's been really cold down to the freezing point, and under that during the night. So the spring is not near, uh, not warmth in the air but of course the birds are singing and uh, are preparing uh, the first uh, set of eggs in their uh, little nests and so on. So for certain the, the, the spring is coming but uh, yeah in here in Denmark uh, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, not here in the northern part of Denmark, in the southern part uh, they could have up to 20 degrees this weekend. So uh, yeah but hopefully it comes soon. And uh, it's nice to be out here in Kimbercamp, nice and cozy. And it's only going to be a short video today. I'm going to make my coffee uh, in a minute. I light out the fire here and then Cornelius and me will sit here and enjoy ourselves. And I hope you enjoy uh, my series Viking from A to O and uh, found the information about the Viking helmets interesting. Yeah. So Cornelius, are we going to make some fire now? and uh, have our coffee. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, a little 
little bit of salt in. And uh, the salts remove the bitterness from the coffee. And I just have to let it boil. Yeah, it's nice to have Kimber Camp where I can stay when it's not good weather. And uh, Cornelius also likes to stay in here, isn't that right, Cornelius? Yeah, it's warm and cozy in here. And uh, I can shut the doors if I want to, so we can sit here uh, with no wind. But then there's also been a little bit of smoke in here. So better to have them open now. This is your, I just burn it. Yeah, I gave him a little stick. So it doesn't steal mine, and then I can't be certain for that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, can you just... Ah. Going to take a while. Are you uh, thirsty? Would have a drink? If I find another, just gonna see. Have your bowl here. I'm not sure he's thirsty, but have to try. Yeah. It's only water. It's only water. Not something you can eat. But you can have it here. Adjust it. Adjust it. I'll put it down here. See? Oh yeah. Oh, so nice with the fire. Yeah. And I also have my pipe with me over here someplace. Yep. And uh, my special pipe, I call it Kimber Pipe, from a guy who has a little company called Ruiz Pipes. And you can see here, there's something Viking simple on this. Yeah, you can see it here. Very nice pipe, handmade of course, from a good friend. I think it's Switzerland he lives in. Root pipe. Firewood on. See here? Yeah. It's coming there. Starting to boil. Yeah. Then I just put it up here and rest for a while. Hello everyone, and happy Easter for those of you who are celebrating that. Um, yeah. Um, 
Hey, not thirsty? How come he is? Folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Kimber Camp together with Cornelius and me. Always nice to see you out here. Good cup of coffee and a little chat. And I hope you find my little uh, story about the Viking helmets interesting. Yeah. And then we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. And take care.